<laughs> okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Chips and Tips. I am so excited. This is Miss Lynetta Maxfield. She is, like I posted yesterday, the mom of the founders of Unique, Derek, Mel Derek and Melanie, Melanie Huscroft, correct? Mm -hmm. Derek Maxfield, of course. Um, and then we found out we had a connection. And we do have a connection. This is unreal. This is very ironic. So Valerie, one of my um, one of my followers who saw this yesterday, um, my children, my friends know this, but my children are Derek and Melanie. And of course your children, our founders are Derek and Melanie. And, and then Melanie married a Derek. And so then we Melanie. Have, we have two Derek's. That's right. Family now. That's right. So brown we Derek have and white Derek. brown Derek and white Derek. <laughs> white Derek is the founder, your son, and brown Derek is Melanie's husband. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and um, I just thought that this would be so fun. One of the things that, as you know, I do chips and tips. I was explaining this to Lynetta. I do chips and tips every week, and I have been trying to figure out a way to do something new because I think that I often, I try to give new tips all the time, but I thought, well, this would be perfect because. Um, I'm getting ready to do a little party for my mom, actually, and her friends. Oh, yeah. And so yes. I thought, I want to show them how to do makeup that is appropriate for their age. And so I definitely thought that Lynetta would be a perfect model for me. She lives here in Boise, and so... Um, you came to my home. I came to her home because I wanted to get rid of my kids. Like, let's be real. I did not <laughs> want to have to deal with my kids during this. So this is easier for me, and um, hopefully it's a little bit easier on Lynetta, too. So, really quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show my chip. This is how this is how I do it, Nana. I show my chip first. So I have had a couple people vote for the Buffalo Blue. Um, if you've been following the last few weeks, I bought a whole bunch while I was in Portland. Remember, I mentioned I went to the Portland Empower You, mm -hmm. and Portland has good. yes, it was great. And Portland had different chips than we had here, and oh. so I stocked up. I we got the same store. Still. We have the same store. It was at Winco. I went to Winco. We have Winco, but apparently they just carry different chips in Portland. So, um, I found this bag. I actually got this bag at our meeting at the hotel. And these are, ooh, these are crinkle chip. So they are still kettle brand, but look at they're wavy. And these are the Buffalo Blue. And Lynetta doesn't eat chips because you don't I, do the gluten. I have to, yeah, I have to be careful. Right, so I just am gonna sit here and eat a chip for a second. <laughs> Lynetta's gonna watch. Yeah. What's buffalo supposed to taste like? Yeah, <laughs> buffalo chips doesn't really sound very appetizing. No, you're right. Buffalo <laughs> chips does not sound appetizing. Um, but they are really good. They taste a little bit like barbecue, more like a tangy barbecue, not a sweet barbecue. Um, which I don't know. I don't think that's bad because I think buffalo, like buffalo chicken, I'm pretty sure you mix in barbecue into it. Well, you know what buffalo chips are. Yes, oh, I yeah. do. <laughs> yes, buffalo chips are not something that I want to try. But those are pretty good. Like I said, I think that they taste kind of like a tangy barbecue. Um, but I really like the wave on them. I've never tried kettle chips that have the wave to it. So that's really good. That's a nice little change up. So if you have these at your local store, try these ones. I liked them. Okay, Lynetta. So, um, like I said... I want to just do a really simple kind of mature look and one of the things that I want to talk about is how we can do our best to disguise our, the aging, the natural aging that's going to happen. <clears throat> start early. Start earlier start, than I did. That's start early. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we have like an awesome royalty yeah. skincare line, right? Mm -hmm. um, so our skincare comes in this purple um, packaging with gold royalty. Melanie picks out the packaging, doesn't yes, she? Yes, she names them. Yes. Yep. So her daughter Melanie gets to name all the products, and she picks out the design and the look of them. I mean, I'm sure she has help, but she's the decision maker. Okay, great. So, did we moisturize already? Yes. Okay, so Lynetta has already moisturized, so we will skip this moisturizer step. And it looks like Lynetta uses the Divine Daily yes. Moisturizer. Unique does have two other products that have SPF in them. This one does not have the SPF in it, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to use the Glorious Skin and Eye Primer. Now, the reason why this is such a fantastic product for women of age, well, anybody, to be honest, anybody, but this primer is a silicone-based primer, and the reason why this is a great primer is because it's going to fill in not seep into, but just fill in the pores pores yeah. and the lines, mm -hmm. okay? So we're gonna start by doing this. 
Okay. I love this stuff. This is great. And they re they repackage this. The formula is the exact same. But I love this. You see how small this tip is? It really helps give the right amount and not squirt too much product out. Did you notice that when yes, they changed the packaging? Yes. It's so great now. Okay. So just a really small amount, about the size of a pea, is all that I need. And I'm going to pat this in. I'm going to pat this in on her cheeks, her forehead. And I'm also going to get really in these areas in her um on her cheeks where she's got her wrinkles her beautiful skin lynetta has great skin you don't have like any blemishes you don't have bad discoloration oh, i feel like I got, I got the good model today <laughs> i got the good model okay wrinkle. oh but that that's fine that's... they're medals of honor yeah. badges of honor badges mm -hmm. of honor mm -hmm. yeah okay so a lot along her um underneath her eyes I want to do more padding than like pressing because I want to really make sure that I am filling that area in. And so pat the primer into this spot. Same thing with kind of her cheeks and right here above her eyes. Make sure that I just have everything rubbed in. Okay. Lost a little bit right there on her nose. Okay, now a really important trick, Lynetta, do you know this about primer? How long should you let primer sit on your face? Is it three minutes? Three to five, five minutes, minutes yeah. is perfect. Because think about if you're painting a house. You prime a house and you need to let that primer dry before you put your next coat on. It's the same philosophy with foundation. You want to make sure that this has dried to your skin before you then go ahead and start putting on product on top of it. Sometimes I don't wait. You know, in a hurry. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a mom, I, I understand the hurry part. Okay, so the other main thing that we're gonna do today with Lynetta's makeup is we're gonna kind of highlight the Flawless Four, which is a really awesome bundle. It's the April Kudos that Unique has going on right now. It's $99, and in that Kudos, you're gonna get a liquid foundation, you're gonna get the primer that you just saw supply. Yep, Lynetta, hold that one up for me. You're gonna get the liquid foundation brush that was specially formulated for our liquid foundation. And then you're gonna get a touch perfecting liquid concealer, okay? And these two products right here come in 13 different shades. So if you have questions, if you follow Lynetta, or if you're one of her followers, because I think she's gonna share this to her page as well, um, she can definitely color match you. If you're one of my followers, I can obviously help color match you as well. And there is a little quiz online that we can kind send you. you. It's, it's kind of helpful, yeah. Okay, so before I start applying the rest of her face product, I'm going to now take a kind of step back and I'm going to fill in her brows. And I'm going to do a really simple, really age-appropriate eyeshadow look. So many women who are a little bit older... If they like shimmer, rock the shimmer. But if you don't like shimmer, if you feel like it's a little bit too youthful, I'm gonna show you using just two cream eyeshadows, matte cream eyeshadows, how to apply this just to have a really nice, subtle, soft eye look, okay? So we're gonna start by doing the brows. The trick with brows, if you don't know, is you're gonna hold it up and I'm gonna make sure that they come in to the outside corner of her nose and we're gonna go straight up. So that's where I will start. And then I'm going to take this and we're going to go to the outside of her iris. That is the high point. And then the, the length of your brow is going to come and it's going to line up with the outside corner of your eye. Lynetta has perfect brows, you guys. It's time to trim them. But, no, uh, <laughs> but, but with the brow liner, really it's going to just lot, make everything yeah. look super clean. But they're, they're nice and full, which is absolutely the look right now. So this is going to be a piece of cake doing this for Lynetta today. Okay, we are going to use the color medium brow liner with the darkness of Lynetta's hair. This is much more appropriate than the really light, the, the light one, and dark would just be way too dark for you. Okay, so I'm going to start by lining the bottom, just like this, and really your brows are great, Lynetta. I do not have to do much work here. My girls and I like to go together. To get your brows done? Well, Jill was just here. Yeah. Was she I'm too busy? Done. Yeah. Oh good, she's going, she's, are you going to Utah? Yeah. Oh perfect, we'll just do it then. Okay, now with the top, when I line the top, I don't actually start all the way on the inside. I come in about a quarter of an inch. This is gonna help give a more natural look than a super shaped off look. Which again, is a little bit more age appropriate. And then I'm gonna now, I'm gonna do some just really simple upstrokes just like that to fill in the front. And then I can either use 
a, an eyeshadow powder that comes in our brow palette. I can just use the, the pencil or the, the brow liner itself. Or we even have a um, brow gel that helps to set everything in place. Just for ease, I'm gonna just use this to just very lightly do really light strokes to kind of fill in the rest. Now, Lynetta, if you look straight on, if you turn your face a little bit, you can see the shape and just the definition of what it creates compared to and then show the other eye. I mean, like I said, you have great full brows, but this just really cleans everything up and just frames your face so nicely. Okay, so let's just do this. So nice to get pampered, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are we ready for the day? Ready for the day. And Lynetta's so sweet, she even has plans today and let me squeeze this in. So much to do. Okay. Great, so simple, so easy. Now, <clears throat> we have two different primers. You saw the primer that we put on here for the whole, full, this is the Glorious Skin and Eye Primer. So it works on your eye. Unique also has this one. This is just a plain eye primer that I'm not actually going to use today because you don't need to use this eye primer when you are using the matte cream eyeshadows. The matte cream eyeshadows have built-in primer. So there's no need to actually use this primer when we're just gonna use this as our base. This has recently become my favorite eye product. I feel like the reason why this is such a great product is really because it neutralizes the color on your eyelid so that when you, if you're going to apply other product, it, um, it really helps pick it up and give a really vivid color true to what you see on your palette or in your little um, pigment bottle, whatever it is. I am using the cream eyeshadow brush. I like that one. I love this cream stiffer. eyeshadow brush. It is, uh -huh. and this is a synthetic brush, um, but it is awesome. And I am going really light. You just you don't need much, especially when you have. The mature skin and so you have extra skin on your eyes just a really 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 light coat of this is all you need you don't need to pack it on and I'm doing mostly padding a little swiping motions my swiping motions are very soft and very short rather than these big huge dramatic swipes that just adds to pulling on your skin that's already delicate there okay so there's that first eye Oops. thanks Lenetta these really short, soft strokes. And what's the color of that one? This one's Victorious. Yes. It's amazing. Really, it's my favorite. Do you use this one? Oh, um, I just got it. Perfect. You're, if you're gonna be a convert, you're gonna love this one. Okay. I put a tiny bit also on that tear duct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, the only other thing that I'm gonna do, can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. Okay, the only other eyeshadow that I'm going to use is this one. This is called Faithful. I love that one. I love this one too. However, um, the matte colors are coming out in the middle of the month, and they just, so two days ago, yesterday I think it was, I think, or maybe it was two days ago, oh, the March just, color, yes. or excuse me, the April color just came out, and the April color, what's it called? Shoot. Yeah. We'll look it up, and I'll post it below. But the, the April color is a lighter brown color. This looks really dark on my skin, or in the tube container, tube, jar, jar, perfect. <laughs> this looks really dark, but when I apply it, I can actually give a much softer look. This is a buildable product, so you can start dark or you can start light and build to dark. So we're gonna start light because we're going for soft, we're going for natural, okay? And I just have a little bit on the tip of my brush, and I'm gonna focus this just on this kind of outside corner and um, bottom of the lid. And if, can you turn your face this way for a sec? Go ahead and close your eye. You can see that it starts dark, but as I blend it, it's gonna lighten up a lot. This is my go-to everyday eyeshadow, actually, when I'm just running to the gym or just running some quick errands because it just gives a little bit of color. Go ahead and turn back for me. It gives a little bit of color. It's matte. Matte is the very age appropriate thing. Um, matte's the trend right now as well. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean if you like shimmer, keep using shimmer if you like it. You do what you want. This is just what's trending at the moment. So I'm just focusing this. 
just mostly on the outside and then blending in. I can bring a little bit into these lower lash lines and that's all we got. <clears throat> so go ahead and turn your face again this way. Okay. So start right here in this outside corner, swipe down a little bit, a little bit into that crease. Just gives a nice, soft, I love this combo. I can't wait to try the color for this month though. It's gonna be great. Okay. If you do need to use your finger to blend a little bit, if you don't feel like the brush is giving you enough blending, your finger is great. These can be applied with the finger uh, and which I usually do end up using my finger to just blend in that last little bit. The other killer thing about these matte splurge cream eyeshadows is they have the best staying power. Yes. You, they don't come off unless you are using a shine makeup removing cloth or an eye makeup remover. Otherwise, it is just there. They don't crease. They don't crease. No, no, and with with women who have that that aged skin, you are you're going to be worried about putting a product that is could potentially crease. These ones aren't going to crease. No, no, no. Okay. So, before I really finish off and hop in, I'm going to use proper, which is the dark brown liner. Dark brown liner is going to be much better than a black liner. A black liner is really harsh. I only use, and then you get phone calls, right? <laughs> I only use black liners at night. Other than that, I use a dark brown. And so this is, this is a much better color pencil for really everybody, I would say, than black. Black is traditional and it's great for the dramatic, but if you don't have a dark brown, Hop on that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna lightly brush this in and then, oh, you know what maybe I have in here? Oh, a good little trick is to use an angle brush and blend it in, but I don't have my angle brush on hand, so we're just gonna do this nice and lightly. And I'm gonna basically put this right on top of the lash line rather than think about like drawing a line. Blending this into the lashes is just gonna be soft and not a ton you can see mm -hmm. it's very 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 subtle the difference that it makes in the two eyes but I don't want her eyes to look closed and so that's why we're just going really soft okay just right in that, that lash line okay perfect okay so subtle so so subtle but still something there Super age appropriate, love this. Okay, now that primer has totally set, we're good to go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the liquid foundation brush. <clears throat> With this liquid foundation, what do you wanna yeah. tell? Do you wanna say anything about no, this? I, this is my color, Okay, Organza. so I love that. Stuff. Okay, so Organza is <clears throat> Lynetta's color. Organza has a very slight pink undertone to it. The lightest color is Scarlet, and that is good for either yellows or pinks, that's a neutral undertone. Definitely shake this product first. Remember that it comes in dropper form, so squeeze out any excess that you have and then shake because otherwise you're just shaking what's in the jar and not what's in the dropper. Okay, so now we're ready to go. We're gonna just. I love this on top of the primer. Why takes, do you tell? It takes about half tell as everybody. much. It takes about half as much foundation if you put the primer on under it first. And it just goes on so much smoother. It does go on smoother. You're absolutely right. Now, one of the tricks, this is a, a really big trick that I have, that I've researched, honestly, that I have researched, is how do you minimize this appearance of wrinkles? I mean, we've got to, like, whether you, I mean, you guys, I have them because I'm so animated that I have these huge creases. <laughs> they're never going to go away. Okay. I've got them. Yeah. So, but here's one of the things that you do. You're going to... Focus the product lightly in those areas. Three, four, five. Lynetta, do you put yours in the well? I don't. Okay, I put mine on the outside yeah. as well. I don't use the well of the, the inside part. But I am gonna just dot these product, dot this around her face. Mm -hmm. But I am going to focus less of the product where her um, wrinkles are more prominent because I don't wanna put extra product in there that will just crease into there. So I'm gonna start kind of in this top. I'm going on kind of the outside. Focus it on that cheek area. 
this is where I usually make faces in the mirror. Oh, do, oh there we go. Sure. <laughs> okay, just like that. Then, after most of the product is rubbed in, then I'm going to go back over where we have more of the aging showing, more of those wrinkles. Oh my gosh, Lynetta, this is such a great color on you. This is... Yeah. I mean, obviously funny. it's her color. You mm -hmm. know this, but... And I should also mention, Lynetta is a presenter with Unique. You're not just yes. the mom. You're, she's a presenter, just I like me. I my kids get their business that's started. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So, Lynetta's got her own customers who can watch this and learn a thing or two. Okay. Man, so pretty. I like that you brought it down under here, too, instead of that. I do. That I always call. bring it down. Mm -hmm. It is important to always bring this down beneath your chin because you want to make sure that everything blends. You don't yeah. want to just stop right there at the jawline. I always bring mine down. Yes, very good. You've seen that, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Kind of I'm pretty sure we've all seen it. <laughs> okay. Just like that. Rub it into the hairline. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so making sure not to put a ton of product where we're going to naturally crease or wrinkle or things like that. Okay, lastly, well, not lastly. I always say lastly. I should say next because yeah. I'm trying to go fast, but I'm not. Okay, we're going to use the concealer, and when I apply the concealer, I should have this out already. I use the pink Unique Blending Bud, okay? This is going to pick up the extra product that is not necessary, okay? So using the concealer, br no, that's my cream shadow brush, but you know what? It will actually work just great because it's a synthetic brush. So I'm gonna use this. Yeah, let's grab one of those. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Perfect. Okay, so getting my excess product off, but because this is a synthetic brush, we can use this to apply. <clears throat> okay, I put a very small amount on my hand first. Sometimes if I'm going super fast, I just do it really quick on straight onto my skin. But straight onto my hand is a little bit better. I can control the amount of product that I'm applying here. The color that I'm using is Scarlet. So this is one shade lighter than the foundation that we used. <clears throat> Being that Scarlet is our lightest shade, um, we can't necessarily go any lighter. But I'm gonna apply this in kind of a V shape. It's a little bit more natural looking than a crescent shape, that circular motion underneath. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's more natural looking is because of how the sun would naturally hit your skin. Um, it's gonna, the highlights and the, the tans that we get, they're, they really hit here on our cheekbones because this is the high part of our face. And so even right here is going to stay fair. And so that's why we do it in that triangle shape. Okay. So let me just apply this side and then we'll blend everything out. Okay. Okay. Now with this sponge, I'm going to pat, not swipe. We don't want to pull. And this is going to press everything in without pulling on the sensitive skin that is there. I feel like it goes really fast. Once I've applied my concealer, I feel like I need two more minutes and I'm done with my look. Perfect. Go ahead and look up for me, Lynetta. Beautiful. If you want to add, a, I might add a little bit more. Look up for me. A little bit of pink redness right there. Not darkness, it's just a little mm -hmm. pink. It just helps neutralize. Okay, great. <clears throat> okay, just like that. Good. Good. I got one that was approval on this one. Okay, so to finish off the face, right now her face, Lynetta's face, just looks very matte. Okay, yeah. this is sunset. This is the color that I use with, especially with people who are fairer. Okay, I have this handy dandy little brush. It's different than the Unique brush. The Unique brush is this blusher brush right here, but I use them separately. They are different in width, they're different in thickness, so I actually use this little brush for my, my bronzer, and we're gonna use this one for the blush, okay? 
the bronzer trick, if you don't remember, is a three. So we're gonna go hairline, then we're gonna go jaw right um, underneath her cheekbone. Yep, there's that funny face. Okay, you, you have to do that. You, you do. You totally do. Yep. Okay, other side for me. Perfect. And I always start at the ear and bring it down. And I never bring it further than the outside of your eye. Okay? Never bring it further than that. That's as far in as you need to bring that kind of contour or bronzer look to give your face a little bit of dimension. <clears throat> also, that last part of the three, so we started here, into the hairline, into the cheek, and then right underneath that jaw. Bring that one down. Okay. That helps with that blending. It does help with the blending as well, definitely. Okay, so all of a sudden, you can just see the transformation that it brings, all just that little bit of color, it makes such a difference. A lot of people assume that that bronzer is just a winter or excuse me, a summer thing. It's not, it's year round, it's all the time. Okay, and then the blush that I'm gonna use, let's see, which blush does Lynetta use? Oh, she uses Seductive. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so Seductive, I'm gonna show you side by side and compare. What do you have there? I have Sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Sweet is a little bit lighter. Okay, seductive is just a tiny bit darker, but they're both, they're both kind of in that same tone. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll use Sweet. Sweet's my favorite. I feel like it looks good on all skin tones. This is another really good trick with blush. That's two calls. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so the higher up you go on the cheek, the more it's going to disguise and really lift the face. So we're gonna go on top of the cheekbone Okay, and that's gonna really lift the face because it's gonna brighten. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And really, we're like almost done. Now all I'm gonna do, that one's your brush. Don't wanna confuse it. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply. What do you, I didn't bring the brush in here. You didn't bring what? Brush do you use? Oh, I use oh, good. just yes. a big powder puff brush. Yeah, so yours is right here. Okay, okay so I'm going to use the Behold Setting Powder. This stuff is. Have you become a fan of this stuff? Yes. Yet? It's so great. It just helps set your face all day long. It's a translucent powder, so you're not adding any more color to your skin, which can add to a cakey look. It blends everything. It does. It, it, it really does. It's great. Okay. Just like that. Right there, kind of at that nose. Okay. Perfect. Now, my favorite thing to do is after the behold, the behold powder is on, then I can go in with, with like a luminizer, okay? You can still luminize no matter your age. If you want to stay for that matte look, don't add a luminizer. If you want to add a little bit, I'm going to put it on me. I don't have any luminizer on. I feel like with Lynetta's skin, we're going to leave her matte, yeah. but oh I did want to show this as an option. And so a very little amount, this is the cream product, okay? And this is the color Benevolent, which is a gold. And <clears throat> that really little bit, pat right there on the top of my cheekbone and blend in with my fingertip. And then whatever's left, I run on the bridge of my nose and right on my cupid's bow, just right there. Those are the only places that you need it. It gives a really nice youthful glow. You're welcome to add it to your skin no matter your age. There really is no rule to it. I just have found that the older, more mature woman doesn't want that shimmer all over their face, but it's absolute preference, okay? So last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Lynetta apply her 3D fiber lashes. Transplant gel, fibers, transplant gel. That's the ticket. Now, I don't have eyelashes like yours, but this My crazy stuff eyelashes. is amazing. What's your favorite thing about it? Well, it makes me, makes people realize I actually do have eyelashes because <laughs> you can't see them without this. Perfect. So, yeah, I don't get the results that you get and Jill gets, but... Um, it's but it makes a difference for you. Oh, yes. So what is your favorite 
trick or tip that you have had over the last few years of using this product? What's I, your favorite mascara trick? Well, I just do one eye at a time. Okay. For sure. Okay. Do the you know the gel and the fibers on one eye, and be careful not to put the fibers in your eye. The gel. Oh, in the fiber too. The, yes. So I've I done, put it. I've done that I have to. It doesn't fit very well, does it? No. And then you make a mess, and then you have to clean off your transplanting one, and then. And, but I've only done it once, thankfully. <laughs> it's only <laughs> happened one time so far. So let me just do one eye so that you can see the difference, even though they're not super long. Look at the difference. That's fantastic. See, I actually do have lashes. She does. She them. does have eyelashes. But isn't that, they're not as long as, like I said, it's yours and Jill's, but. That's okay. Huge okay. difference for me. Perfect. So the main things that I want you to take away from this makeup for a mature face is the silicone primer for sure. Okay. You absolutely want to use a silicone primer. Number two is using a matte foundation is going to be best for your skin and focus putting the product where you don't have, you, you don't need to build quite as much on the areas that you have the aging or the wrinkles, your fine lines. And then lastly, the blush is a really big trick. Keep that blush high on your cheekbone so it lifts your face and lifts your skin. Okay? Those are my tips. Love Those are my tricks. For, and it's a good price this It's month a great too. price yes. this month because you're basically getting a free foundation out of it. It's a yeah. really awesome price. Okay? So all I need is. So all she all needs is lip. my lipstick yep. and my other eye. Yep. And then. My husband really needs to get a hold of me, apparently. Better, so we're going to wrap this up this. really fast. But Lynetta really likes lip stains, she said. And with her purple shirt, I think she's going to... Are you going to go with this one today? Yeah. Okay, this is one of the newer Love colors. It. It's called Serendipitous. You want to throw that one on so they can see kind Just of really quickly. finished look? And the Serendipitous, it looks really dark. But it has it a it little bit of a pink undertone instead of like sleek that has more of that brown yeah. undertone. This is kind of a purpley pink. Right. Or Savvy has a really purple one. So this is really cute. It goes perfect with her little Lularo Irma top, right? We got to throw out our other direct sale sisters. Lynetta, thank you so much for letting me do this with you, you today. You're so great. I told Lynetta. Thank you. This was a treat. Oh, good. I told Lynetta earlier today when we were talking on the phone, I said, you know, my goal in life is to have a picture with your Derek and Melanie and my Derek and Melanie. Yes. So one day awesome. it'll happen. We'll figure it out. So thank you so much for tuning in to Chips and Tips this week. You guys are awesome. And uh, Lynetta will share this with her customers as well, I think, so that they can kind of see a few tricks with applying that uh, makeup there. Thanks again, Kelly. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.